Hi there, we're going to have a look at the PowerBoss Armadillo 9X, which is a heavy duty industrial sweeper. When we say the 9X is heavy duty, we mean heavy duty. Look at the thickness of the steel. And this surrounds the entire machine. One of the nice things about the, the 9X is the tires. These are commonly known as 650 by 10s. This happens to have pneumatics, but we supply mostly solids solid tires with the machine. This is a 650-10 tire and that means that you can replace them. Any material handling company that has forklifts etc. They this is the, the one of the most popular sizes that you have. So you've got to remember that you're going to be paying for the replacement of uh, tires even if you've got a service uh, contract or maintenance contract with uh, with for machines. And so it's important that these are easily available otherwise you will pay through the nose um, to replace your tires as and when they come up. The other uh, thing about it is that it gives you quite a lot of clearance here uh, on our machines as opposed to other ones. Um, really just part of the whole package of trying to build an industrial machine for industrial sites. It also means that you can carry stock of these these tires anyway because you'll be carrying them uh, for your forklifts. So a small detail but it's a big big issue as and when you eventually replace your tires. As we go through the Heiko PowerBoss 9X, we'll see some interesting features which are unique to it. But the best way to think about a sweeper is in terms of a human body. So you have a heart, which would be the engine. You would have the lungs, which is the ability of the, of, of the machine to collect as much dust as possible, to breathe, I suppose. Um, you'd have the brain, which is the control element or the operator. How easy it, is it to operate? and you'd have the stomach in terms of how much the machine can hold. It's probably the easiest analogy. Well, if we start and look at the heart, the PowerBoss 9Xs use the uh, Kubota engine. So regardless of whether you choose this particular plant is the uh, LPG, you can have the, or petrol, gas, or the diesel unit. They all use Kubota power plants. Some guys use Ford power plants and those in terms of parts availability in Australia very difficult uh, to, to come by and then the stomach what kind of capacity well the largest in its class by far over 620 liters can fit in this hopper and you can fill this hopper to the brim because of a unique feature dumping feature which I will show you you've then got the lungs or the ability of the machine to breathe we have got not one but two heavy-duty industrial shaker motors which shake the filters and allow um, the airways of the lungs of this machine which are these filters to be kept clean so that it can draw dust through those filters very very efficiently certainly the best con uh, dust control of any sweeper out there one of the important requirements for an industrial sweeper on a site is that it can go all day especially where dust is a real hazard for for, for workers and if you look at the at the 9x here you'll see why so I'll just show you in terms of the hydraulics which drive your brushes, which drive your vacuum fan, which drive the actual drive of the, the, the machine as well, um, how well cool that is. So you can see how substantial the radiator is. You've got for water cooling over here and then you've got for our hydraulic uh, cooling over here, uh, on, on the side of the radiator and it's not just one of those thin cheap radiators. This is a substantial uh, radiator which means that you could run basically 24 7 with this unit and you would never uh, overheat it's a bit of overkill but like everything else if you look at the engineering how heavy the steel is throughout this machine it's built like an absolute tank we're so sitting in the operator cab of the 9x and if i was emphasizing the industrial heavy industrial construction of the machine earlier from an operating point of view the key word here is simplicity. The gauges are easy to read and very simple. Within easy reach, we'll also pictures as well. So if you have language barriers, which can be a real uh, issue um, with diversity uh, today and the diversity of the, op the operating staff, um, there are clear icons and pictures that will remind the, the operator exactly about the functionality um, of of the unit so very simple and you'll notice that 
there aren't a lot of electronics here because all of this uh, is exposed really to the elements normally unless you have an air-conditioned cab and so simplicity for people that want quite an industrial quite a mechanical um, unit the 9x is, is is the unit to to go for you can get with its bigger brother which is the 10x there there you can go for um, uh, a more electronic setup if you if you so wish but this for the environments that it operates is probably perfect now I'm going to show you the unique feature on this unit which enables you even with a direct throw hopper where the brush is not collecting the debris and throwing it into a hopper behind but it's throwing the debris flicking basically the, the debris or whatever you're picking up into the hopper in front how you can actually fill this hopper to the absolute brim using this technique and we call it RTR which is a trash relocation system okay the way the RTR system works is that we will raise the hopper to a certain point until the first light illuminates we will then tilt the hopper or rotate the hopper to the front so that all the debris in in the bottom of the hopper falls to the front of the hopper when the second light comes on we stop rotating because that is the maximum pitch we then will rotate the hopper back into the horizontal position and we will then lower the hopper down. So what that does is instead of only being able to use 30% of the hopper because of the sort of ski ramp that would form from debris that builds up as you sweep, you can utilize the entire hopper volume. Even if you have a great demo, sometimes the most difficult people to deal with are the guys in the workshop. I have to go in now and speak to the technical support guys. Hey guys, so we had a good demonstration outside, but I think you guys are more interested in the maintenance. I like the orange, but I'm worried about the engine. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. You salesmen just talk, talk, talk. Well, we fix the engine. Do you think it's easy as that? No, but I think you'll find the Powerbox 9X has got a, a really accessible bay to work on the engine to make it easy. Can I show you? Yeah. yeah. I'll just release these clips. We'll open up the engine bay here. So you can see already you've got quite good visibility. And then I'll just show you. I undo this clip. I'll just pop off the throttle over here. Squeeze it together over there and then Whoa! you see it's very easy your oil is here your water is there your air filter is here everything is very accessible what do you reckon i guess it looks easy now does it well i'm glad so are you guys happy yes, yes. we're very happy but i have a little bit of questions well i'm not worried about the because you already showed us about the engine now. I agree with her. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for your time, and it's been good to meet you guys. What's your name again?